So I need to sew a pair of non slip saws on the booties I have crocheted for my daughter, because she's kidding like crazy whenever she puts them on. I'd made these booties from an original Victorian feather, which you can see in this video here, should you be interested in making a pair. I used the wool yarn for the booties, and wool makes a booty very slippery on basically any kind of floor, which I already knew, but which became even more apparent once my daughter first tried them on. So I did some research on how Victorian ladies solved this problem and I found that the majority of patterns call for a pair of lamb's wool soles and there was also one that suggested sewing on a cork sole. Since I have neither, but I possess this leftover anti-slip rug underlay from IKEA, which is conveniently thin enough and durable enough for this purpose, I just use it and close my eyes to the inappropriateness of the material in favor of availability and hopefully function. Of course, if you have a more noble material on hand, likewise suited to the purpose, that could be even better. I decided to stick to the old ways though in cutting out two whole saws instead of circles or any other small shapes. So first, I placed one booty on the rug underlay and traced around it with a pencil. Since the edges of this material won't fray, I did not bother to add the seam allowance and turn it under, but if you use a fabric that might fray, it would be a better idea to do it that way. I made it symmetrical by folding the fabric in half. Then I cut it out. After fitting them on the saws, I made some adjustments. Then I cut a second one for the other booty. The thread you choose for sewing the saws onto the booties is very important. Ideally, you shouldn't use anything that's stronger than the yarn you've crocheted your booties with because those threads can cut through the yarn, ruining your booties. So that means no synthetic or even cotton threads. I think the best you can do is to use the same yarn as you used for the booties and make peace with maybe having to re-sew the soles once the yarn wears out, but hey, at least your booties will be intact hopefully. I ended up using a lighter weight wool yarn than what I used for the booties to make the sewing somewhat easier. And now for the sewing, I started by pinning the fabric to the sole of the booty. The soles of the booties will need to injure much, so I used the sturdy backstitch for sewing them on, because that will make for a very strong seam. When I was done with the first sole, I had an idea, as it often happens, time will tell whether it was a good one. 
It occurred to me that the constant friction caused by walking would be much easier on the soles if I added some structural stitching to strengthen it, and I also noticed that the sole of the booty kind of looks like a leaf, so this happened. Then I repeated everything with the other booty. Alternatively, you could sew a sole on the outside and an inner sole thingy on the inside of your booty so that the sole part of your crochet booty is sandwiched between the two. I think you could also do the sandwiching with a stronger thread, but when it comes to items made out of wool, I wouldn't risk even that, so sewing with the wool it is for me. A word of caution, since the fabric of the overlay is purposefully sticky, it might become a tripping hazard in itself, so you might need to tone that down a bit, I think you could do that by walking the new soles on a carpet or a dusty surface. And that's it! Thanks for joining me today, please hit that like button if this video helped you in transforming your creations from skates to booties, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!